On September 3rd, Beijing will commemorate the 80th anniversary of the end of World War II with a Victory Day parade that may serve as more than a historical remembrance. Military analysts are closely watching the event because China is expected to debut a new medium main battle tank, MBT, provisionally identified as the ZZ-201 or Z-20. While official confirmation remains absent, Rehearsal images and open-source intelligence strongly suggest that the People's Liberation Army Ground Force, PLACF, is preparing to showcase a radically different kind of armored vehicle, one that could signal a shift in how China intends to fight future wars. At first glance, the ZTZ-201 departs from China's traditional heavy armor designs. Weighing an estimated 35 to 40 tons, it is substantially lighter than the 54-ton Type 99A the heaviest tank currently in Chinese service. This relatively modest weight class suggests a deliberate doctrinal pivot. Instead of maximizing armor thickness and mass, the new tank appears optimized for agility, deployability, and survivability against modern threats such as drones and precision-guided munitions. This reorientation mirrors lessons drawn from recent conflicts, especially the war in Ukraine. There, Tanks with decades of incremental armor improvements proved vulnerable to inexpensive unmanned aerial vehicles, UAVs, loitering munitions, and modern anti-tank guided missiles. By emphasizing active protection and electronic countermeasures over passive armor, China is acknowledging that survivability in modern combat depends less on steel plating and more on integrated defensive systems. The tank's reported main armament is a next-generation 105mm smoothbore gun. Although smaller than the NATO standard 120mm or Russia's 125mm calibers, the Chinese cannon is said to fire advanced ammunition at muzzle velocities approaching 1,700m per second. If accurate, these figures would make its performance competitive with larger caliber peers while keeping the vehicle's weight lower. Some reports suggest the gun is designed with modularity in mind allowing for a future 125mm variant should operational requirements or export deals demand heavier firepower. Supporting systems may include an auto-loader, advanced thermal shrouds to stabilize barrel temperature, and fire control software integrated into a digital sensor suite. In addition, the ZTZ-201 is believed to carry a remote-controlled weapon station for countering aerial threats. This reflects the rising importance of anti-drone defenses, particularly against low-cost FPV drones that have emerged as serious threats on modern battlefields. Taken together, these features indicate that the PLA envisions a tank capable not only of dueling enemy armor, but also of surviving in UAV-saturated environments. One of the most notable aspects of the new tank is its crew configuration. Instead of occupying the turret, the three-person crew is reportedly housed in a front hull capsule, separated from the ammunition. This approach, inspired by Russia's T-14 Armada, enhances crew survivability by isolating personnel from potential turret explosions. The unmanned turret above the capsule would be fully automated, with the crew relying on helmet-mounted displays or augmented reality systems to monitor the battlefield. Imagery shows multiple periscopes and sensors mounted on the hull, suggesting the crew's situational awareness is supported by a combination of optical, radar, and LIDAR devices. Analysts speculate that the tank incorporates at least 360-degree coverage, giving operators a complete digital view of the surrounding terrain and enemy positions. Such a design underscores China's growing emphasis on digital warfare and network platforms. If functional, it would place the ZDZ 201 in the same technological league as Western concepts such as Israel's Iron Vision or Germany's next-generation digital tank initiatives. Perhaps the most groundbreaking element of the ZTZ-201 is its propulsion system. According to leaked specifications, the tank employs a hybrid diesel-electric powertrain rated at more than 1,500 horsepower. A combination of a 960 kilowatts diesel engine and a 300 kilowatts electric motor is believed to form the system's core. This hybrid design offers multiple battlefield advantages. First, it allows for rapid acceleration and maneuverability, enabling speeds above 80 km per hour on roads and 40 to 60 km per hour cross-country. Second, when operating in electric mode, 
the tank can move silently, reducing acoustic and infrared signatures, a valuable capability for ambushes or stealth reconnaissance. Third, hybridization may improve fuel efficiency and logistics, a crucial consideration for extended campaigns or operations in remote environments. While promising, these performance claims remain untested outside of controlled experiments. Without battlefield validation, it is unclear whether the ZTZ-200 and ONE's hybrid system can maintain durability under prolonged combat stress. The ZTZ-200 and ONE's defensive philosophy reflects a decisive departure from traditional tank design. Instead of relying on massive armor layers, the new platform appears to prioritize active protection systems, APS. Leaked images reveal radar panels on the turret corners and launchers mounted on top, consistent with a hard-kill APS designed to intercept incoming missiles and projectiles. Supplementary tubes, possibly smoke launchers or electronic countermeasure systems, add to the tank's layered defense. Analysts believe the platform is modular, allowing armor panels and side skirts to be swapped out depending on the operational theater. Some reports even hint at integrated electronic warfare suites capable of jamming or misleading enemy targeting systems. The emphasis on active defenses reflects a hard truth. Even the heaviest armor cannot reliably protect tanks against top attack missiles and kamikaze drones. By adopting a defensive system designed to neutralize threats before impact, China is aligning with the global shift toward active, sensor-driven survivability. The choice to build a lighter, more mobile tank has direct implications for China's strategic priorities. In mountainous regions such as Tibet and the Himalayas, heavy tanks like the Type 99A face logistical challenges. A 35 to 40 ton tank, however, could maneuver more effectively at high altitudes and cross bridges that cannot support heavier armor. The ZTZ 201 also appears tailored for amphibious operations. Its lower weight would make it easier to transport by Y. 20 cargo aircraft or naval landing ships, enhancing its utility in a Taiwan contingency. Furthermore, its modular construction suggests the potential for derivatives, including infantry fighting vehicles or specialized fire support variants, echoing Russia's Armada family concept. Strategically, the new platform may replace the aging Type 96A fleet while complementing, but not necessarily replacing, the heavier Type 99A. This would create a tiered armor structure within the PLA, a versatile medium tank for rapid deployments alongside a heavier platform for direct armored confrontations. By unveiling the ZTZ-201, China positions itself within the small but growing group of countries developing fourth-generation tanks. Rivals include Russia's T-14 Armada, Germany's KF-51 Panther, South Korea's K-2 Black Panther, Japan's Type 10, Turkey's Altai, the American Abrams X, and the Franco-German Main Ground Combat System, MGCS. The United Kingdom is also modernizing with the Challenger 3 program, while India continues to plan its future main battle tank. What sets the Chinese model apart is its emphasis on medium weight, hybrid propulsion, and integrated anti-drone systems, rather than sheer firepower or armor. While most Western and Russian designs still prioritize larger guns and heavy protection, China appears to be betting on adaptability, stealth, and survivability against emerging threats. The ZDZ-201 has not yet been officially unveiled, and much of the available information comes from rehearsal images, leaks, and speculative assessments. Nevertheless, its expected appearance at the Victory Day Parade represents more than just the launch of another armored vehicle. It signals a broader evolution in Chinese military thinking, one that embraces digital integration, mobility, and active defenses as the foundation for 21st century armored warfare. Whether the ZDZ-201 can stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with NATO's most advanced tanks or Russia's T-14 remains to be seen. But the message is clear. China is no longer content to refine existing designs. It is reimagining the role of the tank itself.